two fathers won a battle to have Wi-Fi removed from their local school. As first reported on One News, the pair believe the wireless internet system could be dangerous to children. Now they're calling on other parents to take up the campaign. Simon Bradwell reports. School's out at Tahoro and so is Wi-Fi. Victory for Damon Wyman who has two kids at the school and led the campaign to have Wi-Fi taken out with another concerned parent, David Bird. We've been inundated from um, health professionals and scientists from all around the world, so have the board, um, all expressing their concern with Wi-Fi um, and all advocating for it to be removed from our school. Now the school's board has decided to take Wi-Fi out of junior classrooms and replace it with cable-based internet. Damon Wyman began researching Wi-Fi after a brain tumour killed his young son, which Damon Wyman believes may have been partially linked to sleeping with a Wi-Fi iPod under his pillow. Over half the parents um, expressed to us that they would prefer the school to be hardwired, um, especially as it would be no cost to them. The pair say many overseas studies support their concern that radiation from Wi-Fi devices could cause cancers or other health problems. No one from the school would appear on camera, but said in a statement that the decision was based on feedback from parents and that the parents it surveyed didn't want Wi-Fi pulled from senior classes. We have sourced information from the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health and other submissions. Based on this information, the board believes that Wi-Fi does not pose a health risk to staff or students. The government agrees with the World Health Organisation view that Wi-Fi is safe, but the Council of Europe says Wi-Fi and cell phones are potentially harmful and should be banned from classrooms immediately. The two fathers say they'll continue to fight for the total removal of Wi-Fi from Tahoro School. Simon Bradwell, One News.